So, what we know about this diode one, D1, is that when it switches on. Okay. Thank you. So when it switches on, the voltage over it on this side is V1, and the voltage on that side is V1. So it is the anode voltage minus the cathode voltage. So it's V1 minus V1, which will give you V anode minus V cathode. V1 minus V1 for this period here, from there to there, will give us zero. You agree? So from there to there, it is zero. Are you happy? On the voltage. Uh, Minus the cathode. Now I want to know VD. There is VD. Voltage diode. Anode minus cathode. <coughs> so we had V1 minus V1. From this point there to that point there. The answer is zero. Got it? Yes, I got it. Okay. So we don't take into consideration the, the voltage that should be at that point. Look, we, we're going to ignore that all. Make it easy for ourselves. Okay, so on the anode, it's going to stay V1. Do you agree? Right. Now let's go to this point. On to that point. We're going to this point here. What is, now we have V1 minus V2. Do you agree? Because now V2 is on the load. So we have V1 is 0. V2 is 0, 0,866. So what is the answer? 0 minus 0, 0,866. This is minus 0, 1,5 V max. Minus 1,732 V max. So we've got a dot there now. Now we go. V1 is minus 0, 0,5. V2 is 1. Minus 0, 0,5 minus 1 gives us minus 1,5. V1 is minus 0, 0,866. V2 is 0, 0,866. Minus 0, 0,866 minus 0, 0,866 gives me minus 1,732. Okay, I go to this point there. V1 is minus 1. V2 is 0, 0,5. So it's minus 1, minus. 0, 0,5 gives me minus 1,5. V1 is minus 0, 0,866. V2 is 0, 0,866. Minus 0, 0,866 minus 0, 0,866 gives me minus 1,732. V1 is minus 0, 0,5. Minus 1 gives me minus 1,5. V1 is 0. V3 is is now the, the load voltage, okay? It's 0, 0,866, so 0 minus 0, 0,866 gives me minus 0, 0,866. Now I come to this side. V1 is 0. V3, which is the load voltage, is 0, 0,866. 0 minus 0, 0,866 gives me minus 0, 0,866. And now I just have to join the dots so I can see the big picture. And there is your wave shape. And if you have no, if you do not say what wave shape it is, if you don't say it is V diode 1, 
then you don't get marks for it. Because it's not an art subject. Shapes are not important. Shape with what it is is important. You don't have to interpret it by wondering what it is. Hey, okay, you got it? So now, this is the maximum voltage that the diode will experience in the reverse direction. So when you look in this direction here, in the, in the, when it's not on, and you see it's minus 1,732, which is equal to minus the square root of V max, which is a line voltage. You agree? And the line voltage, the ratio between a single phase and a three phase or a phase voltage and a line voltage is the square root of three. So there you have it. So the peak inverse voltage is square root of three V max. Is equal to the square root of three times the square root of two of V phase. If V phase is VRMS. Sorry, I didn't have, I should not have put that word in there. Okay. Square root of 3, square root of 2 times VRMS. Have you got it? Will you be able to determine the peak inverse voltage of a 3 pulse rectifier diode? Will you be able to determine the current rating of that diode? Will you be able to sketch the graphs? Will you be able to sketch the circuit? Will you be able to determine what is the ripple frequency? Do you understand why it's called three pulse? So if the input voltage is here, you emigrate to America or Canada, the input voltage is 60 Hz, what will your ripple frequency be? 180. 180. 